can't go into into a town and say, you know, I'd like to order fish for a hundred. You know, they'd have to go in and right. say, oh, I'll order fish for three thousand. Can you add that? So we have the ability to do things that you can't do on other ships when it comes to food and beverage. But on these ships, we're going to be adding two new James Beard restaurants. One of them is under Stephen Reichlin. I don't know if you've heard of him before, but he has his own television on the Food Network. He is a James Beard grill master, and he's actually pretty famous. I was with him in Las Vegas, and people were coming up asking for his picture and his signature. Just a great guy. But he's going to be opening a um, a smokehouse rotisserie restaurant on board. Again, oh. bringing the local culture on board our ship. The second new specialty restaurant will be, um, it's actually going to be a Spanish tapas restaurant. So that's another really great one that we're going to have. And that's the same thing. It's going to be small little plates that will be served at the table family style, which will, again, give to the whole culture of, you know, the, the friends and family that you meet on board the ship. So that's going to be a nice one as well. And that's an open kitchen concept. And, of course, we have nice. our main dining room. And our other specialty restaurant, which is Candles, which is Steakhouse Restaurant. All of those are included in the price. Yeah, there's no extra charges for any of those restaurants either. So food is very important. Yeah, food is very important anyway. But, you know, people, that's one of the things that people are becoming very um, discerning about is making sure that they have, they they want healthy somewhat meals. um, And they love the idea of it being locally sourced. Because you're right, when you're thinking about where your food is coming from nowadays, you want to make sure that it's as fresh as you can get it. And 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 that becomes a big issue for people. And speaking of dining, do you take special requests for like people that are gluten free or paleo or something like that? Is there is there something specifically available for them? We do. And because we cook to order, we're able to really accommodate almost every dietary restriction that's out there. And you don't even Mm -hmm. have to, we like to know in advance, but we really work with guests one-on-one once they're on board. The only thing that we really can't do is like a kosher restaurant. You know, we're we're not, we don't have a kosher restaurant, so we, Mm -hmm. we can't do that. But other than that, we can pretty much accommodate any food and beverage requests that they have. So that's great. And yeah. then, and then let's talk about um, excursions. Well, before I leave food, let's talk about beverage because that's another thing. Are there beverage packages available? There are. There's actually a very. Um, I think this is the best package we have out there. It's called the All In Package. Mm-hmm. Our All In Package. Um, it's there. It is a daily fee. It's an eighty nine dollars per person per day, but mm-hmm. that. That fee includes your prepaid gratuities, which are normally $14.50 per person per day, the full beverage package, all the taxes, all the gratuities on the beverage package, complimentary Wi-Fi, and laundry. So it's a really great package for a really great deal. The best part about it is, though, so for example, my husband, he'll drink his worth in that package every single day. (laughs) I might drink, I might drink two or three drinks, you know, during the day and maybe a glass or two of wine at night. So I'm not sure that that would work for me. We do not require your guests to each purchase that package. So if That's one good. person drinks, yeah. So, it, and the reason that we, we're not an all-inclusive cruise line just for that reason. We have a lot of our guests that, you know, they want to make the choice. So we let you make the choice and offer this great, great package to them. See, that's, so, yeah. that's really good because my husband and I are kind of like you and I. Um, he, yeah. he will, he will go through his package and sometimes mine just, just because he, he's trying to see if he can do it. Right. <laughs> but, well, you're on but, vacation. Why not? Exactly. Exactly. You know, but for me, I, I'm not quite as a, a heavy a drinker as I used to be. So it makes it nice if we, we both don't have to spend that money. That's perfect. It, Absolutely. Perfect. Exactly. Exactly. So, but yes, we do offer packages and there are other packages as well, but that one, that one truthfully has the most value. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Especially with including the gratuities and all of that. That's really, that's good. That's really good. Right. Yeah. So let's talk, let's talk about excursions. Um, What type of excursions do you guys offer? So we do a lot of, um, you know, with Windstar, we really try to keep that small ship experience both on board as well as on during our shore excursions. So 
we offer a couple, you know, we offer several different, a variety of different um, offers in each port that we go to. But we really focus on, you know, trying to keep the culture, culture that we're going to, making sure that our guests get to experience that, but in a small mm -hmm. group setting. So, you know, there's really something for everyone. You know, there are, there are adventurous excursions for those that might enjoy like zip lining and the Jeep tours and things like that. And then right. there's more of the bus tour for people who really want to learn the culture and hear, hear a speaker up there. But we try to keep the groups around 20 people at the most. So okay. they're not, they're, you know, we really try to keep them small. The other thing is, is we do custom tours. Um, you know, a lot of cruise lines, you know, it's kind of cookie cutter and here's what you get and this is what you have to do. We actually do try to work with our, um, our guests on board to, to create custom experiences for them as well. Okay, so as a group, we could do a we could do a custom excursion. You absolutely could. So Wonderful. I have a nice little form that I can send you that you can fill out, and we can create different things for you around nice. that. So you know, it's just it's it's it's. I think again, that small ship. It, it we may not have as many choices as a large ship, but right. it's choice. But we have choices. We have more intimate type of experiences. That's a, that's great. I like that. I like that a lot. And so let's talk about, we've talked about your size makes Windstar unique. We've talked about being able to customize different um, excursions and meals even. What else about Windstar makes you unique? Because there are other um, smaller ship companies out there. Can you give us some information that you think sets you apart? Uh, yes, um, there are a lot of small ship options out there, and we are a luxury cruise line, and there's a lot of small luxury cruise lines. And truthfully, I couldn't say a bad thing about any of them, but mm -hmm. we all have our uniqueness. And I think Windstar's uniqueness is the fact that we are very casual. We're, we're very laid back. We are a luxury experience, but, you know, we don't we don't require jackets and ties and all of that. And, you know, a lot of cruise lines will tell you the same thing, but the difference is our guests do not bring the jackets and ties either. So it really, not only is our cruise line relaxed, but our guests are relaxed. Good. We offer, um, one of the things that I, I love to see, in fact, I, I, I have an advisor that's on board one of our ships right now, and I get daily emails and texts from her, just she's in awe, and she's been traveling all over the world. But our crew is very casual as well. I mean, our crew will get to know your guests the very first day they come on board. They generally know their names, their families. They know what shift you've been on before, which is great. But I think in turn, what I think is wonderful is our crew is very casual as well. You will get to know their names, their family, what they do, what ship they're on, what life on board the ship is. It's almost like one big happy family. Our crew, you know, enjoys meals with our, with our guests as well. They interact nice. with them. It's just a whole different way to travel. That's we take nice. care of our crew, and in turn, our crew takes care of your guests. And that's important. If they're happy, then we're happy. <laughs> absolutely. But it's that whole small ship experience. You know, a lot of times you see the captain maybe at the end of the cruise, or you'll see him walk through the dining room. Our captain gives daily talks. He's at the Kacha receptions every night. He's sitting down having breakfast, lunch, and dinner with our guests. Our, our officers and our captain go on shore excursions with our guests. It's a whole mm. different way to travel. Nice. So what else is new in 2020 with, me, with you guys? So, you know, there's always something new with Windstar. In fact, it's, for me and my job, it's a whirlwind to try to catch up with everything. One of, um, well, one, our biggest thing is our $250 million renovations that we're doing on the Star Class ships. I mean, mm -hmm. I mentioned the dining rooms, but... Pretty much everything on the ship is being touched. Uh, we have new engines, new balusters, you know, everything. But along everything. with that, it's everything. There's very little of the ship that's not being touched. So um, I don't know if you heard the recent announcement, but our, our renovations were supposed to take four months. We decided once we got in there, there was a lot more things that we wanted to do to make them even mm. more perfect and beautiful. So they're now taking five to six months to, to complete. Nice. So it, it's a huge, it's a huge, huge project. But when the ships come out, they're going to look like brand new ships. They're going to act like brand new ships because, again, everything is new. Right. Um, but I think, um, you know, one of the most important things is every year it's our, it's our destination. So every year we have new itineraries, new ports, new places we go. With the new ships that we have coming up, 
we have 50 new itineraries and 200 Ooh. new ports that I'm, I'm sorry, 300 new ports that we're offering and 200 new shore excursions. So wow. lots and lots of new things. Um, I'm very excited with our new destination that we're um, introducing, which is Australia and New Zealand. And, you know, everyone I know nowadays goes to those places, but imagine being on a small ship and going to the far, you know, the beaten off the beaten path type of places that you get to go. We have a mm-hmm. we have a excursion we or we have a um, itinerary in New Zealand, which is a 15 day comprehensive New Zealand. They're going to be going to ports that you can't even get to by land. So really, really cool places that we'll be going. See, and and that's uh, that's on my bucket list. Is um, I want to get to Tahiti for my 60th birthday, which is coming up in the fall Ooh. or or right after. And I would love to do it on a small ship. That's it's my, that is my bucket list. Right. Yeah, yeah. So that's I've my... done Tahiti, so you know who to call for all the hints. Mm. But, <laughs> but you know, we I have can't. one right now that is in June that will be doing Fiji and Tahiti. Mm. So can you imagine how cool that one would be? Yeah, because I've been to I mean, Fiji. <laughs> And so remote. I mean, it's just yeah. so remote. I think we go on that one to four different islands in Fiji. So, wow. but yeah, just a, just a lot of really, we, we just go to so many beautiful destinations. It's, it's hard to keep up. I am very blessed in my job because I have been all over the world with Windstar. And to be able to do that on a small ship is just a, just a fabulous experience. You relax so, at night. You're busy during the day. Right. Yeah. So what are, what trends are you seeing or um, what are your, your most popular itineraries? Well, our most popular has always been sailing the Greek Isles. There's something about okay. being on a small ship and with Windstar, you know, the ship that we have in the Greek Isles, it's 148 passengers. Mm. It sells out every year, generally very quickly. But one of the unique things with that particular one is we still go to Kusadasi. So we're, we're still in Turkey. And while we're there, we're, we go to Ephesus, but we take our guests to Ephesus after hours for a five-course okay. white glove dinner in the Library of Celsius with a three-piece orchestra playing in the background. And that's included oh. in the cost of the sailing. Nice. Um, that one is amazing. But Northern Europe is really hot right now. Iceland is hot, but what we're also finding is Norway is a very popular destination. We started sailing Norway, I want to say, maybe two years ago and it was a hot destination, but it's getting hotter. I mean, Norway is just a place that everyone wants to see now. Yeah. Everybody wants to see that area and it's not hot. It's cold. (laughs) It's cold. That's right. It is cold. And we're small enough that we actually sail through the fjords. So there's a lot of scenic cruising on board this particular sailing, which is pretty nice. Now my husband is dying to see that. Now you mentioned my last name is Rom, which is actually R-O-M. And his family is Norwegian. So he's like, when can we go on this ship? When can we go on this ship? But That's in his cool. case, he always has to go when we're not sold out. So never, honey, never. <laughs> <laughs> Poor thing. Unless you want to pay, dear. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, you know, we have those James Beard sailings, and those are very popular for us as well. That's when we have a James Beard chef on board, and it's a culinary cruise. And we have those in destinations all over the world. So we have one in Asia. We have it. Um, we have one that goes up the West Coast, which is like a winery tour. It's the West Coast mm. of the United States. So that one's really nice. And then, of course, Alaska for us is very, very popular as well. Being yeah. on a small ship, going into ports that the other ships simply can't get into. And the fact that we anchor in the national park. So you literally can look out your cabin window, your cabin suite, and see whales. Pretty cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. So cool. So pretty who's cool. your typical client? Is there a typical client? It, 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 there is a typical client. I mean, it depends on the destination. But, you know, if we were to say a general Windstar client is pretty much between the age of 30 and 80. So, I mean, mm-hmm. that's a pretty wide number. But yeah. they're generally very active adults. They're people that are well-traveled, that are looking for something different, and people who like to immerse themselves in a culture. They're not just on board a ship so that they can, you know, a lot of the big ships, it's about being on the ship. With right. Star, it's about being in the destination. So they're, they're guests who really want the time in port. They like to come back and not have to pack and unpack. Um, you know, we find that, you know, we're a very social cruise line. People join country clubs 
because they want to make friends and they want to be with like-minded people. People right. stay with Windstar for the exact same reasons. We